In my second year of university, I got into custom keyboards and I bought a Keychron K2 V2. I customized the crap out of it. But soon after I started feeling a sharp pain in my wrists whenever I was at my PC. This escalated to feeling numbness in my fingertips and it became difficult to type. It got so bad that I could only spend about 15 minutes a day typing. By this point, I had already graduated and I started to get worried as I considered, what if I'm not able to code anymore? That's when I decided to get serious and look for a solution. This is what I found. My hands shouldn't be pronated for too long because that tightens the space my carpal tunnel has. My fingertips shouldn't need to extend much from the home position. The main reason is that when I extended my fingers, it would intensify the pain and I'd also feel numbness as well. My shoulders should also be evenly spread apart. Why? When I noticed that my shoulder would raise and move slightly forwards when typing, and I'd also get some kind of shoulder pain as well. So which keyboard did I get? I ended up going for a custom imprint keyboard from a company called Cyboard. Now I bought this keyboard about a couple of years ago, and it seems like they've added a ton of options since then. The imprint keyboard is my personal favorite though, because it's 3D printed and will match your hand size and finger length. I think that's really important for me, because it reduces how much I have to extend my fingers in order to reach all the keys. What makes this even better though, is the fact that this keyboard comes with QMK firmware, which means that I can have multiple layers. Why is that useful though? Well, it means I can have what's known as a home row mod. That means that instead of having my control, command, and alt keys on the outsides of my keyboard, meaning that I have to use my pinky to reach them, I can instead make it so that I can long press other keys closer to my home row in order to trigger them. I can make a whole other video on this. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. In order to get this keyboard though, all you have to do is send a couple of photos of your hand next to a credit card. Please don't forget to censor the card details. Additionally, they also include some tenting equipment, which lets you tilt the keyboard, thereby preventing you from pronating your hand so much. The fact that it's a split keyboard solves my third problem, which is I'm able to spread it apart enough so that my shoulders are evenly spread out. But this is where it gets interesting. I saw the following setup with a different ergonomic keyboard. So I joined Cyboard's Discord server, which I highly recommend you do as well if you're considering getting this keyboard and I asked whether this is something they could help me with. I wasn't expecting much from them since it seems like it's a very small business in a very small niche. Thankfully they reached out and were super helpful. They said that they would be willing to make a custom version for me and test it with some spare camera mounts they had lying around. This is the final result. I've also had some feedback from two other friends who have bought custom keyboards from them and they're always quick to comment on how good the customer service is. If you don't want to mount it like I did and you want to use your keyboard on the desk, at the very least, I recommend that you use Omni Calculator to find out the optimal desk height for your setup. That seemed to mitigate a lot of the issues I had with my desk height. I've been using this keyboard for two years now, and I can confidently say it's helped me improve my performance. So will lead you to the comfort it provides me when I'm typing. I mean, think about it, right? We spend 90% of our time at work typing. So why wouldn't I invest in something that helps me improve that or add some comfort to that? If you have an ache or a pain, don't ignore it. Make sure you address it as soon as possible. That was my mistake. I ignored it for a long time and it got so bad and it got so bad it became unbearable. Since I started using this keyboard, the numbness in my fingertips, the pain in my wrists and the soreness in my shoulders has completely gone away. If you're suffering from something similar, I would highly recommend you look into keyboards like this. Again, it doesn't have to be this one, but just make sure you address the pain. If you got any value out of this video whatsoever, please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos that will help you improve as a software engineer.